Hey everybody, we're the Nerds, and we're here today in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, at Loco Burrow, right there behind us. We're hungry. Oh. You ready, Steph? Ready. Let's eat. Let's go. Outside the local borough, we got the little borough up there. We got the rooftop dining way up top. World famous fajitas, ritas, and sangrias. And we're gonna head inside right through this escalator right here. We got some chips and salsa. They're about $4 for the chips and salsa. They're not included here. This is the mild right here, and then this is the hot right here. Hot. And Steph's going in for the hot right now. How hot is the hot? Steph's already tried both salsas now, the hot and the mild. Which one do you like better, Steph? The hot one. Tried both salsas now, and the mild is more tomatoey, real kind of runny, but I like it though. The hot's not hot at all. I kind of like the mild better. Both, both unique though, both come with that order of chips and salsa, but I think the mild is the way to go for me, but hot is definitely not hot by any means. All right, our food just got here, so I'll start with Steph's first. This is the shredded chicken quesadilla. It looks really good and huge. There's a, the, or the sauces for it there, the guacamole, some kind of sour cream sauce. And I got the uh, fajita tacos here, the peppers, onions, uh, chicken and steak in them, uh, the rice and the beans with the cheese on top. So all in all, looks like a pretty good meal. Here's a look at the main dining room here. You got the stairs going up to the rooftop bar right there. The main seating area here, got these cool lights all around. You got a big burr right there as well. So just a really cool atmosphere in here. They have a full barn here. They have this burrow here that you can actually ride, like a mechanical bull, but it's a mechanical burrow. And then there's a look right there inside the kitchen where they're making all the food out over there. They have a really nice patio out here. So you come out here on the patio. This, this is mostly for drinks, and not actually like food service right now, but drinks uh, from the bar. And then here's a look down at the strip below. We're up on the rooftop terrace now. They got a huge fire pit there you can eat in front of. There's the Space Needle over there. Just a really cool look of Gatlinburg here. There's Chicken Guy in the arcade right there. but. Just a really cool uh, rooftop patio up here. Here's a look from the rooftop patio down. There's chicken guy up there in the arcade. And so we're looking down the strip. That's about four stories up up here. And there's the Gatlinburg Space Needle as well. So just a all around a great view from up here. There we have it. That was the local borough in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. And pretty cool place. What do you think, Steph? <laughs> It sounded like what? you said the local bro. Loco. <laughs> Loco. Well, you um, are right now. Yes. Uh, it was good. I don't like that you have to pay for chips and dip. I think at every, or chips and salsa. At every Mexican restaurant you go to, like, that's kind of included. So that kind of was weird. Um, the quesadilla was good, but it was nothing, nothing special. It was just a quesadilla. So I liked it, though. It was good. Nerd scale? On a nerd squad, probably go six. Uh, so for me, um, I'll start with the service. Service was really good. Uh, server was attentive, very good, and brought that drinks out. So I liked the service quite a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, they did say it was about a 45 minute wait tonight, and the wait was three minutes. So we actually walked down to Chicken Guy, uh, to the arcade there. So we started walking in, the table's already so back. So I would say if you come here, 
that may not be the normal, but give it a few minutes before you walk away just to see. Because it was literally 45 minute wait on the app showing the same thing, uh, and then three minutes. Um, atmosphere, awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a place in uh, Vegas that's kind of had the same atmosphere. It's just a really cool atmosphere. All the lights, the mirror on the wall, uh, the giant burrow that you can ride, uh, the patio up top, the second floor patio. So just a really cool place. I like the atmosphere quite a bit. Um, and on the, the food. Wait, really quick. The price, I want to say, um, for mine, it was $17 for a shredded chicken quesadilla. So it is expensive, but again, it's a tourist town. I ex I guess it can be expected, but for a chicken quesadilla, seventeen dollars, it's expensive to me. Yep, it is. Okay, um, oh, go ahead. <laughs> no, yeah, we like Washington D.C. Last time we were there, it wouldn't film, but I think it was only like twelve or fourteen dollars. In, in Washington, you would think it would be way more. Um, but yeah, for the food for me, I had the tacos. The beans were good. With I like the cheese on top, fresh uh, rice or rice. We just like chewies. Um, yeah. I didn't like the fact that they had to pay for chips and dip. I, thought, I mean, chips and salsa. I think the salsa was good, both the medium and, and the mild. Uh, my, I mean, the hot and the mild. The mild is my favorite. But the hot did get a little hot after a time, but it was still very mild spice. Uh, but I didn't like the fact you had to pay $4 for that. Um, and then uh, the chicken taco was okay. Um, nothing wrong with it, just an average taco. The steak was really good. So for me, I would recommend coming back here and getting the steak. Um, we used to eat chewies quite a bit. Uh, got a lot of the tres leche there, stuff like the food there. So good. And a creamy jalapeno. Mm -hmm. Now, if they had like a creamy jalapeno with the chips for four dollars, I'd have no problem paying for that because you're getting something to elevate it. Um, but definitely stick to the steak, I think, for, for us if we come back. Uh, Steffi's chicken KCD was just okay. Yeah. And uh, I'm the same on Steffi with the price. Um, was it a good meal? Yes. Was it worth the price? Not too much. Because around me, kind of like a chewies, mm -hmm. but a little bit more pricey than chewies. And so I was going to go to Chewy's at that point if you're getting Tex-Mex. Uh, honestly, I'd rather just go for full authentic. But of course, we knew it was Tex-Mex before we went in there. Uh, so I would probably stick to Chewy's. But again, mm -hmm. I have no problem coming back here. I'd just stick to the steak and probably skip the chips and salsa. Yeah, for, uh, for sure. me, I was probably going to give it an 8 because I like the steak so much. But I have to go to a 7 just because you're charging $4 for chips and salsa. Mm -hmm. You do get unlimited refills. But that's still kind of pricey just for some basic chips and salsa. And who? Um, well, I mean, yeah. parties of more than two might eat a whole thing yeah. of chips and need a refill. But we didn't even eat half of those chips. Yeah. So. so I'll probably give it a seven. Uh, it's a good service overall. It's a good place to eat. Uh, but for the price and being so similar to Chewy's but not quite as good, mm -hmm. I think there's always a lot better places to eat. And especially being in Gatlinburg. You have There's options unlimited. Many yeah. Better places uh, that you could eat. So yeah, so like I said, all in all, go back again, give it a seven. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, give it a try, see what you think, but stick to the steak. <laughs> His steak was very good. If yeah. I were to go back, which I don't think I will, but if I were, if somebody wanted to, I would probably get the steak, um, steak fajitas is the word fajitas. Yeah, we were That's gonna try the fajitas good. tonight, but we want to try to get two different things. I usually get tacos like carbon. And Stephanie usually gets a quesadilla. So we mm -hmm. want to try to get our normal stuff. Um, just so people can see we normally kind of eat. And also try two different things. Otherwise, we wouldn't normally just share the fajitas probably. I think next time we come back, it'll just be steak fajitas. Yeah, we should have this oh, that was the other thing. The tacos, the fajita tacos I got, there was no extra charge just to mix it up with chicken and steak. It was like $1.50 more for the sauteed onions and peppers. And while they were really good, it was like, you know... Why are we charging $1.50 for some onions and peppers? I mean, if they're fajita so, tacos. tacos, fajitas come with peppers, yeah, right? they, they, they call them the tacos al carbon. The server called them the fajita tacos when you put them on there. Um, I think our meal with tip was, what, 60 Yes. Six, a little over $60 with tip. Um, so, again, that's, that's kind of where the price comes in. Uh, but yeah, solid seven, solid, and you gave it a six. Six, yeah. So, yeah, just uh, give it a try. See what you think. And... Uh, the nerds are out. <laughs> the nerds are... Oh, wait. We saw, like, we weren't filming, but like three people trying to do the the, uh, the burrow in their mechanical burrow, and they all fell off within like four seconds. So, if you're not a BBR professional bull rider, probably wouldn't ride the burrow, but it looks fun. That being said, <laughs> the nerds are...